Welcome to Enceladus XL Academy, a new series I've started. I'm starting, this is episode one. We're going to try to explain why I, thi- why I think anything divided by zero equals zero. So, like, dividing is like, okay, so I got this thing, right? And I'm going to divide it into any number I want, right? And I'm wondering what, how much is, how much, how much of something are the pieces so for example i just divided this into three so we can pretend that this that this bar is equal to three meters or three or around three yards okay so this means that we divided it divided it we divided it into three pieces sorry I'm stumbling on my words anyway so that means it's three divided by three and each of these is equal to one one meter which answers my question how how much of uh, something is are these pieces all right that's nice and to start off, let's divide this thing into two. Let's say that this is equal to two miles, which is 1.6 kilometers as far as I'm sure. Or I think I'm sure. And so we get this sponge. Did I say two miles? I'm going to make it two miles. And we got this sponge, and we divided it into two pieces. And now each of these pieces is equal to one mile, which is nice, which is very nice. So now we answered our question. Now let's divide this into one piece. Let's divide, um, let's divide this, I don't know, like a meter into one piece. And wait a minute, wait a minute, somebody already divide this into one piece. Because this is in one piece. We didn't have to, like, separate it into any more pieces. It, it, it seems that this on its own is, all, is one piece. So this is equal to, to one meter. So one piece of this is like this thing when it's when it's like in one piece is one one piece which makes sense so if i were to try to divide this into zero pieces we can't just leave it on its own because if we if we don't because if we don't this is in one piece and not zero pieces which means that's literally just dividing by one which we just did and don't want to do so in order to make it zero, we have to make it not exist anymore, which is basically just zero. It zero is nothing. So this makes sense because now this is in zero pieces and is equal to zero, zero units because there is nothing there. And that's what zero is. So that's it. I hope you learned something today. Remember to like and subscribe.